say, before we get on with it, um, many people have called or written um, about the two deletions in last Thursday's show with John and Yoko uh, Lennon. And uh, a lot of people asked me about it who ran into me over the weekend, uh, what happened there. And I, because I didn't get to see the air show as it was, I didn't know one deletion took place. Uh, one, one was requested by Yoko, and I, um, I have nothing to say about that. But the other deletion uh, was made by ABC, and it, it is the network's policy to delete any plea that is made for funds for a charity uh, that has not been uh, thoroughly checked out. Uh, because there have been incidents in the past where they turned out to be um, uh, disreputable charities or ones with similar names to the really reputable ones and so forth. Um, and uh, until that cause has been checked by the network, they always take those out. But a lot of people were quite upset about it because of the nature of the charity. It was uh, for um, kids who had been uh, disfigured by uh, the war. And um, a network official informs me now that they have checked out the charity. They have found it to be quite reputable. And so here's the information you did not get last Thursday. It was the Children's Medical Relief International, or CMRI, Korean Hospital, Box 555, FDR Station, New York City, 10022. CMRI, Korean Hospital, Box 555, FDR Station, NYC, 10022. So that, I wanted to clear that up. A lot of people wondered about that. Tomorrow afternoon, at the Tavern on the Green here in New York City, um, a great actress, Peggy Wood, will be honored. She will receive the Fabergé Straw Hat Special Achievement Award, and it will be presented by another great actress and great friend of hers, Miss Betty Davis. And that gave us a chance to have both of these two great ladies on our show. It's been both of these great ladies. Both of these two is redundant. It's been said that uh, Betty Davis was the first actress to make movie acting respectable, and <laughs> she has a couple of Oscars to prove that. And history may just prove her the finest film actress ever. Peggy Wood, her good friend, first starred on Broadway in Maytime in 1917. And uh, that's quite a while back. Probably everyone, or nearly everyone, according to the box office receipts, has seen her as the nun admonishing us to climb every mountain in the film Sound of Music. She was the star of Mama on television, has an amazing list of theatrical credits. And it is always nice to see great actresses make their entrances. and. Um, Tonight, you get to see two of them at the same time, Miss Betty Davis and Miss Peggy Wood. You've talked a lot about the Emmy, but I've read a lot of war hoop with joy. You did a lot of war Last hoop? Last night, all along the plaza. I was, bet they could uh, hear it across town. No, it wasn't that loud. It was a kind of late issue. Oh, the show did go on a while, as you said. That's true. It did yeah. go on a while. <laughs> How nice to meet you. How nice to meet you, sir. Yes. In the flesh. Why have they kept us apart so long? We just, we just, actually, we just met a moment ago well, backstage. But the sure nice to see you. The only time I saw you, really, was in this theater when... And Noel Coward was here last year, and uh, Ben Luntz. That's right. And uh, I was out there. And I didn't so get you see, there you. was this great barrier between us yes. from there to here. I guess it's safe to say that you two have known each other for before <laughs> tonight. Well, yes, yeah. we, we met, you know, when uh, Miss Wood was a superstar, as we call them today, at the Cape Playhouse. Yeah. And I was trotting up and down the aisle, seating the theater goers. And that is when I first met Miss Wood, and she was, you know, perfectly marvelous to all such apprentices as we were then. You, you were learning your trade and... Well, I wasn't really learning it because I, I wasn't allowed to do anything much that summer but usher. Yeah. But I was learning how to be an usher. <laughs> <laughs> that takes a certain amount of doing, you Can know, you with the flashlight and where are the seats, you know. Yeah. Can you still do that if you were well, pressed I haven't into it? Or if you... I don't think I'd want to. No, no. I see. <laughs> But well, I knew that she was an, an apprentice there because my late husband, um, John B.A. Weaver, uh, went to a performance of The Apprentices and um, came back to me pop-eyed. He said, I have seen a actress, boys and girls, 
And I think she is absolutely marvelous. And he said, I'm going into New York tomorrow, and I'm going straight to George Abbott's office, mm -hmm. and I'm going to tell him he has to see this girl by the name of Betty Davis. And uh, he did so, did he not? Did you get in there? Uh, uh, I, I, I never have met Mr. Abbott, but I appreciate what Mr. <laughs> Weaver did. No, I never have met him in all these years. Even oh. yet? No. But you know, I, I went to yeah. Hollywood. I wasn't in the theater more than about three or four years. Mm -hmm. yes. So I just but didn't happen to meet him. Did he have it all that time to get around to you? I don't think that's right him at all. Well, <laughs> maybe I should have stayed, you know, see, in the theater longer, but it worked out that I went to California. So. Say, could I ask you both a question? I don't know. Do I have Roquefort cheese on my face? <laughs> hmm? Do you know no. that feeling? I did a live commercial a moment ago. Do you know that feeling that people are staring no. at something that you have? That's no, you look beautiful. All right, I, I just, I don't ask all my guests if no. I have Roquefort cheese dressing <laughs> on my face. I thought I would just do ask you, you. Do you ask the same thing when you get a pie in the face? You know, I've never had that. Neither have you? Have I. What's it like? Oh, I, want I have. Have you? Oh, in the army shows. There is an old, old vaudeville sketch, which I'm sure you remember, called The Stand-In. Yeah. And it's, it's a famous vaudeville sketch. And, and the, the star of the show gets all ready, you see, and they get the pies ready, and then they put the stand-in to take it. Right. And I played the stand-in in all these army camps in Northern California. I used to take about five pies a day sometimes <laughs> at five shows. It is the most miserable feeling. <laughs> because it goes all up your nose, and the smell the sm you smell oh. of this pie forever, as far as I was concerned. Where did they find people but the, with Oh, the, the guys, they loved it, though. They thought it was such fun. Yeah. It really was such fun to do uh, for, for all the servicemen. You know, and it was particularly funny because I was doing it. But uh, I do know about taking pies. Is there a, a secret to it? pie must be something. Uh, yes, I had that blueberry. Blue Chocolate's blue the worst because chocolate, <laughs> you know, <laughs> chocolate smells strongest, you know. Yes. And it gets in your hair, everything. Uh, so you go yeah. take shower, shampoos, you're just ready for the next show and you get another pie. <laughs> Were you ever hit by a pie that was not planned? No. I mean, had you ever, did anybody ever have a surprise, pull a no, surprise no, on you? No, that no. Would, I think that would really test your sense of humor if somebody... Uh, <laughs> yes, I think that would be pretty disastrous. Yes. 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 Okay. Well, some people may not think it's funny, but we have a little surprise for you, Betty. <laughs> Don't you dare! <laughs> Wouldn't that be, wouldn't that test a friendship? The surprise would be that it would come into my face. No, no, we wouldn't, we wouldn't do a thing like that. No, he would only you do it to me. that's there. there well, there. familiarity you, you are breeds suspicious. contempt. This is the third time I've been on your show, and you don't respect me anymore. Now you're going to throw pies at me. <laughs> it's just not true. That's it's not, what happens. Miss Wood is suspe suspicious that we actually have one concealed here. No, there will be no pies that we know of tonight. Oh, there will be no pies. Miss Wood, when, when uh, was there a moment in your life where you can look back and say that, that that was the moment you decided to be an actress no matter what, let nothing stand in your way? Well, dear, I'd like to say that I was um, going to be a singer all my life from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. I wasn't necessarily going to be an actress. And my father said to me, I saw to it that you had your singing lessons and everything, but where the hell did you learn to act? So I said, I thought, you know, that everybody could do it. Anybody could do it. And, uh, but certainly in those marvelous singing roles, you, yeah. you, you were an actress, too. Oh, yes. I was <laughs> what they called a singing actress. <laughs> and, uh, and that meant that I could at least uh, make some semblance of a, um, have a resemblance of a person on the stage and not just a doll that you wind up. That's mm -hmm. right. But um, the, all, all the... Um, Parts that I did of the, in the musical world were all acting parts, too. Where, you know, when you really want to be something in the theater, you get a play that has you play four different ages. Then you're in. Anybody that plays, it, I, I can look back over all of, of my colleagues and see that mm. their big successes always came well, we have one now, Sadie Thompson, that right. played right. four different parts. Then you're in. So that was me in Maytime. That's so, right, of course. So I had to play a young girl, and then a married woman, and then an old lady, and then another young girl, a granddaughter of the original young girl. When I had a success in um, London in Bittersweet, there I played four different right. ages, 
and yeah. you're surefire, <laughs> you're made if you can play That's four right. different ages. I would guess, too, that the hardest one to play would be the one closest to your own, because for the really, if you're young playing an old lady, you can make yourself up, but, yes. but to play I didn't have you to make me up, though. You did very nicely, but this other one's getting older. <laughs> did you like that? <laughs> but it's, it is Would true. that be true, that, the one, if, that for a 20-year-old person to play 30 would be harder than for a 20-year-old person difficult. to play Much 60? more difficult. Yes, than, yes. Yeah. yes. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Then, then, then um, an old, old lady. Right. And, and then you can also add to the old, old lady by tottering. Mm -hmm. They love to see you totter. <laughs> 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 Let us take... Uh, we may find a lot of secrets out about acting tonight. Let us take a message. We'll be right back. Hey. 